Emirates Airline revealed its latest aircraft to be added to its fleet, a Boeing 777 equipped with the latest in-flight entertainment technology. According to company officials, this is part of their ongoing efforts to enhance the passenger's flying experience, with the growing aviation industry expected to contribute 32% to Dubai's GDP by 2020 and rising passenger traffic, they say the public can expect more of these aircrafts in the coming years. Khadija Sali reports. At present, 60 million passengers transit through Dubai International Airport. With a projected growth to 90 million by 2018, airline companies are continuously raising their game. Among them is Emirates Airline. Dubai's carrier invited the media today to view one of the three Boeing 777 aircrafts received in May this year. While it was unfortunate that the filming of the exterior has been prohibited due to security reasons, the interior says it all. In the future, we have a, a very uh, big fleet replacement program and fleet growth program. So you're seeing probably two, three aircraft added each month uh, to the Emirates fleet uh, for the coming couple of years at least. Passengers in the economy class will feel more privileged watching favorite shows or movies on a TV screen well over 12 inches, the largest available for this class at present, while keeping track of their flight on a second handset. The business and first class have wider touch screens at 20 and 27 inches respectively. The airline installed its first TV screen back in 1992, spending about $10,000 per seat on the technology. Today, it costs an average of $15,000 a seat with more return on investments such as increased communication ability, second handset displays, and more interactivity. Overall, you know, the investment in uh, the in-flight entertainment systems on, a, on an aircraft today is between five and ten million dollars potentially but the uh, the cost of acquiring all the content is is an ongoing cost the cost of maintaining the cost of uh, ensuring that everything is, is a big investment and uh, um, is, but it's well worth it according to them it was a work intensive two years to improve the in-flight entertainment system a great addition to all the features inside the triple seven that make the skies friendlier it has a huge contribution because it's going to make Emirates, as, uh, again, prove Emirates that they are the pioneers in the in-flight product, in-flight entertainment. The size of the screen is the biggest one right now available, 27 inch in the first class. Um, uh, the, the handheld controller, which is similar to um, a, three, uh, uh, a smartphone or an iPad, you can control all of your environment. And the, the way you can uh, do it by swapping, swiping, um, again, it brings the, uh, the, the, the experience of the ground into the flight, into your own cabin and environment. In addition, Emirates is also investing in its future potential customers. They came out with a new range of toys, games and gifts, such as the Fly With Me Monsters collection for children from birth to 12 years. What we have here, it's very practical. This is a, a monster. This one happens to be called Jim Bob. And if you read in the back, he loves naps, he hates duck quacks and alarm clocks, eats candy floss and hobbies of caterpillar racing and tumbling down grassy hills are fun. But his arms are wrapped around what is a lovely fleece blanket, which is very practical on the aeroplane, but also to take home. Um, and then, of course, this then can hug anything you like and play with. We also have the same character. This here is what we call a seatbelt critter. And this comes off and it goes round the seatbelt on the aeroplane and makes putting your seatbelt on fun. But also, in our product testing, we found that um, the youngsters love this to put it on the seatbelt in the car. And then we move up in age and we have um, Quicksilver for the older ones, a very well-known international sort of lifestyle brand, where we have real retail quality um, activities from a, a journal through to uh, top trumps type cards through to the fabric wallets that you will typically see in the shops. At present, Emirates has 171 commercial passenger aircraft. Company officials say they expect a good mix of Boeing 777s and Airbus A380s in the coming years to add to their fleet. By the end of 2012, the airline will have 15 to 18 of these luxurious 777s fitted with the latest technology that aims for increased customer satisfaction. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.